All right, guys, the last lesson of this unit. This is going to be lesson 13, which is about physical and chemical changes. We'll be talking about these changes and also some terms called intensive and extensive properties. So a physical change are changes affecting the form of a chemical substance, but not its chemical composition. So cutting, tearing, grinding, dissolving. Physical changes are used to separate mixtures into the component compounds, but cannot be used to separate compounds into chemical elements or simpler compounds. This means you can't take a knife and cut a water molecule into hydrogens and oxygens. Remember, mixtures are physically combined. They can be physically separated. Compounds are chemically combined. They can only be chemically separated. So physical changes do not create a new substance. That means magnetic things will stay magnetic, but particle sizes will either increase or decrease. The phase of matter, though, will change. Sometimes the substance will melt, it will boil, it will freeze, or it will condense. Sometimes it can be dissolved into an aqueous form. So freezing of water, melting of butter, boiling of a liquid, dissolving of a substance, crushing, or even cutting are all considered physical changes. Because we haven't changed anything. Now, chemical change is any change that results in the formation of new chemical substances. At the molecular level, chemical changes involve making or breaking bonds between atoms. And these chemical changes uh, are, it can be like iron rusting, uh, gasoline burning, um, anything along those lines. But you're changing the substance. So a new substance is created, for instance, hydrogen gas, oxygen gas, to create water. Hydrogen is highly explosive. Oxygen is something that fuels flames, but put them together, and it makes something that takes away the flame. Um, and then when you create those new substances, there's going to be uh, new properties of those substances, again, like flammability, corrosion, or lack thereof. Uh, and then there's new chemical formula changes. So compounds become elements or mixtures, um, uh, more or less atoms in a compound, things like that. So denaturing of proteins, like when you cook a raw egg, uh, oxidation or oxidizing, which is kind of another way of saying rusting or tarnishing or uh, rotting. Let's talk about some physical properties of all matter. We have extensive and we have intensive. For extensive properties, these are properties that are going to change when the size of the sample changes, such as volume, mass, size, length, and weight. Intensive properties are things that do not change and can be used to identify matter. So like boiling point will never change, doesn't matter how big or small the sample is. Density, color, state of matter, the melting point, its hardness, its malleability, its odor, luster, ducti ductility, um, the fact that it is uh, magnetic, things like that. 